Easy Peasy Quilts. I'm Julia Tiedemann, and today we're going to be doing two projects with one block. It's the angel block. We have the Guardian Angels pattern, which is a quilt, and we also have our Angelic Choir table runner. This quilt pattern is more of a baby quilt pattern. Um, it's based on the Bible verse of Psalm 91 11, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And this pattern, um, the quilt will end up being a 48 by 60 inch quilt top. It's perfect size for a baby or a crib quilt. Um, and uh, the little angels are just so cute. And then this quilt, or the, excuse me, this table runner pattern is more um, Christmas oriented. And it is little angels that are singing, uh, like in an angelic choir. And um, so that uh, angel and this angel are very similar. So we're going to be able to do one YouTube video for both of these patterns. So let's get started. The angel skirt has templates that are that are provided in the pattern. There is the skirt and then there are background pieces that go on either side that are cut from your background fabric. So in order to cut these out, it's easier if you use a ruler to do it because it just protects the template and it makes it easier to cut. So I do that, line it up. It'll tell you how big the strips or how wide of strips of fabric to um, cut in order to have it fit along the edges. And then there is a li two little cuts on the end there. And then I just flip it and we'll cut out the other side. And trim off the little ends down here. And there's our skirt. And as far as the templates for the back of the skirt, or excuse me, the sides of the skirt, the lower portion of the block, we're going to do the same thing. Let's use our ruler to cut along the edges. And just trim the little ends. And there we have, oops, that's not the skirt. There it is. This side. And then I went ahead and cut another side. So that is our skirt, our angel skirt. So what you do to sew this is you're going to line up the ends, line up that end and that end, and go ahead and sew it with a quarter inch seam. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to line up the edges and sew with a quarter inch seam. And then once we lay that out, we'll have the bottom of our block done. Here's the layout for the top of the angel block. The Squares are placed over the wings, and these squares are placed over the angel face, and these squares are placed over the hair, and we're going to do some more corner-to-corner -corner sewing. We did a lot of that last week. Uh, so what we're doing is we take a ruler on these pieces, or a pencil, or whatever you'd like. I use these heat erase ink pens that the ink will disappear whenever I press it and just draw a line on all your pieces and the, the pattern will tell you what direction to draw every corner to corner line. So you'll go around and you don't have to have this laid out when you do it. Obviously you can, you can mark these pieces before you lay them out on the on the pattern because it's just corner to corner. So if you 
if you go one way, you can just flip it and put it the right, the correct way. So we'll go around, we'll do all of our lines on each piece, and then we will sew these on the line or just on the outside of the line, which will give you a little bit of fabric to flip that corner over. And once I get done sewing all of that, then we'll come back and I'll show you. Now we have all the seams done and I have trimmed the seam allowance to a quarter of an inch, which I just take a ruler, trim all these seams to a quarter of an inch. Then I press everything open and you have all of your pieces that you need done at that point to sew together. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to sew the top of the angel's hair to her face and her face to her dress. And then we're going to add the two hair pieces on the side once that's assembled. And then we can add the two wings and we'll have the top of the block completed. Top of the angel is complete. All we are going to do is sew the skirt to the top of the angel and that block will be complete. And then we will move on to the halo. The halo block is very easy. All we're going to do is take the cutting directions for each of the pieces in the pattern. We're going to attach the two background pieces to either side of the halo fabric. And then we're going to sew the top background piece and the bottom background piece to this and the halo block will be complete. Our angel block is completely assembled. Our halo block that we just talked about is put together. Now on the guardian angels quilt pattern, we have friendship stars in the top, in the quilt top as well. So that block is made using the four at a time half square triangle technique. So we take our square, which the dimensions of this are in the pattern, and we sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the square. There are two pieces of fabric, background fabric, and then whatever we would like the points of the friendship star to be. And then we use our ruler to cut from corner to corner. And then we leave our fabric there and adjust our ruler across the square again. And if you want to line up, like sometimes it'll get a little off kilter. If you want to line up one of the lines on your ruler as well along this cut you just made, that makes it a little bit more see how the cut is lined up along this line and then i've got each point on the edges and then we're just gonna cut it that way and then all of a sudden you've got four half square triangles one for each point of your friendship star these will need to be trimmed down um, to make sure that they're the exact size it, this makes them just a slight bit bigger they all the trimming I did was for the four pieces was that, so it's very close. So if you want a little bit more wiggle room, make your squares just like a quarter of an inch bigger, and then you'll cut bigger half square triangles and have a little bit more wiggle room. I feel pretty comfortable with making them close. So here are the half square triangles that we just made and I pressed them and trimmed them. And then we're going to lay out our friendship block. Now, I have a hard time seeing the half square triangles turned correctly because you want them to go around the block in a specific direction. So what I usually do is I take my the first half square triangle and line it out with the pattern. And then I take and take the second half square triangle and I turn it 90 degrees. And then I use 
that's the same as that. I turn it 90 degrees. That is the same as that, and I turn it 90 degrees. And then I know my friendship star points are all turned the correct way. And then we add our background squares. And then I'm going to sew these into rows. So I'll sew this row first, this row second, and then this row last. And then when I press, I'm gonna press the seams on this um, top row in, and then I'm gonna press the seams on this row out, and then I'm gonna press the seams on this row in, so that when I assemble the rows of the block, you'll be able to nest those seams and it will turn out with beautiful points. Okay, here's our pretty little friendship block. And I will show you where these go in the quilt top. Here is a little bit of an up close picture of the Guardian Angels quilt. And here are our friendship stars. And then the next step with doing our angels is we are going to put a heart uh, applique on each angel. And this is optional, you don't have to do that. I've done raw edge applique here and I'll show you how we'll do that. And then for our table runner, we're going to um, do a little mouth on each angel that's singing. So this is the angelic choir table runner and we're going to do a black applique for that. This is the product that I use all the time for raw edge applique. It's called Heat and Bond. The light is the one that you can sew over and I always sew my applique down. So I use the light. And basically what it is, is it has a glue surface on one side and a paper on the other. And so when you fuse it with a warm iron to the back of whatever fabric that you're using, it will go ahead and stick to that fabric. And it also stabilizes the edges so they don't fray as much when you're washing it. But what I do is I take my template, you'll get these for the, um, quilt in the quilt pattern and I cut them out and I just trace that heart and once you cut out the heart you peel the back off and you have this paper is just disposable and then you've got glue on your fabric so that when you take that heart and put it down on the um, angel and put it down on there without the paperback, you take this out, off, you press that on and it holds it in position while you sew. Um, and even from there on out, it'll, it will help hold it into position um, as well as the stitching. So the other um, version is similar, obviously with the mouth, it's just black fabric. And then you'll get a little template in the pattern for that. The outer line for this is for turned edge applique. This is such a small piece that I think that would be difficult. So the smaller uh, inner line that's a solid line is what I used to make my raw edge applique angel mouths. And I just cut it out. You trace it on the back here which makes it easier than trying to pin something to fabric. And this stabilizes the fabric too, so that makes it easier. And once I draw that on, I can take away that, cut it out, and then we, again, peel this backing off so that we have the glue on the fabric. And then that little circle will just go right on there and press on there, and it makes it so easy to do your applique. And again, on this quilt, I did a blanket stitch around the outside of uh, each one of the little hearts. I don't know if you can see that very well, the little blanket stitch, but that holds that fabric edges down. And um, then the heat and bond that's fused to the back of it kind of helps prevent it from raveling or unraveling. And I think it looks very nice. And again, on this girl, 
I just went around it with a straight stitch, but you could certainly do a blanket stitch there as well. And that will hold it down to the block and we don't have to worry about that applique coming off. And then once you quilt it, it also holds that fabric down and holds that piece onto your quilt. So that's how we do the applique for this, these projects. Thanks so much for joining me for this quilt tutorial. If you think that these tutorials are beneficial for you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. This pattern, Angelic Choir, is pattern 127 of Easy PC Quilts, and the Guardian Angels pattern is 118 Easy PC Quilts, and you can find these patterns both linked in the description box below. If you want to know when we're going to be having a new YouTube tutorial out, or a new pattern, or a sale or a discount, join our newsletter. That is also linked in the description box below. And we would love to be able to send you all of this information. So thank you. And until next time, we appreciate you.